everybody. Welcome. It's the Osprey Observer, a new episode coming your way with your host, Johnny Torres. With me, as always, Editor-in-Chief of the Osprey Observer, Marie Gilmore. Hi, Marie. Hi, everybody. Uh, man, one of the things that I love about uh, our community is just how everybody does love it coming together. And, you know, just recently we talked about Heroes Paradise coming into the fold as another new attraction in East Hillsborough County. And it joins, you know, Top Golf and, you know, iFly and all these amazing things to do in our community. Well, there's actually somebody that you found that's keeping track of all this stuff and, 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 and highlighting it and promoting all these local businesses. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, check out that interview that Marie has for us. Hi, everybody. Have we got a fun interview for you today? Jonathan and I have been looking for fun things in the community to celebrate and get involved in. And what better than funtampa.com? Karen Clarkin is a local realtor with Keller Williams. And a few years ago, I started hearing about him. He was kind of fun, kind of quirky, giving away free TVs and really fun contest. And then all of a sudden he was doing these awesome food truck rallies out at Summerfield. And then funtampa.com. Suddenly he's doing videos and I'm following him and watching him just highlight fun things in the community. So welcome. Welcome, Karen. Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so tell us how you got started with doing the videos in the community and tell us a little bit about funtampa.com. So I have always been something. I've always loved marketing. I always loved uh, doing stuff on the camera. I remember doing videos for real estate back in the early 2000s when you actually had to hold the camera and the editing took forever and everyone thought I was crazy that it would never pan out and look where we are now with videos. Um, so when I, when I was doing marketing for restaurants and whatnot, I transitioned back into real estate. I always had that marketing mentality, the events, have fun, customer service, give them something they never had before. So as I started doing it more and more, one of the biggest questions I would always hear from people is, not only what is there to do in Riverview, what is there to do in Tampa? When I moved to Tampa in 2008, 2009, I've lived in Carrollwood, Seminole Heights, Ebor, South Tampa, Rocky Point, um, Riverview, Brandon. So I lived everywhere. And I would go out to all these different places and I always explored. And I always found it crazy that a lot of people were in their comfort zone. They wouldn't realize what, what was out there. So when people moved to Tampa and they would ask me what's there to do, I said, you know what? I'll go do a video of different places and I'll show it to you. And I'll say, you know, how do you, and it was done horribly. I mean, I would just take a camera and I, I'd walk <laughs> around and hey, and, and little by little, I would see different people asking me about it. And, I, and the owners would always be like, what's the catch? And I would be like, well, there is no catch. I'm doing it for clients. So if you don't mind. And then, I, and then I, one day I was just sitting home and I said, I need to put this on a platform. But mm -hmm. the problem is, is in the world we live in, there's always you know, oh, it's a gimmick. Oh, they're only doing it for this reason. So I didn't want to merge it as a realtor hosting it because I felt like once I hosted it as a realtor, it would take it down a notch and it would be like, oh, it's a realtor showcasing this. So I said, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to merge it. There's no, there's no, you know, soliciting business. This is just for fun. So I found the domain name funtampa.com. And then I said, let's just have fun with it. And then the other reason was I didn't like the fact that corporate was taking over a lot. And then also there are these co companies that they charge you to be on their directory. So if I'm looking for a steakhouse or something fun to do, I might not ever find your business because you didn't have enough funds to pay for it. Okay. So I wanted to reach out to those places and help them out. So Fun Tampa was born. Um, I changed my look. I put on my Fun Tampa shirts and I would just... That was it. And then I'll give the alley, I'll give the, a quick shout out to the alley South Shore. I, when I went there one day, they were like, no, we don't want the video. And I know they were just like, what's the catch? What's this guy doing? And I did it anyway. I just went in with the camera oh. and shot it. And I edited it and I gave it to them. And they go, really? And you know, Faith is amazing there. Robert's amazing there. And I said, yeah. I said, there's no catch. I just really wanted to do it. And I remember like months later, one of my clients from South Tampa was looking for something to do for the Super Bowl and found the video from SEO and was like, oh, I never knew there was a bowling alley out there. And right. it, it was like right there it was born, like somebody found it and then there you go. And it's cool because now if you look up, like if you look up the country Cuban, on the first page of Google, there's my video. Wow. So, and then it show, and it's more than pictures, you know, it's like, and now you meet business owners and you get to hear the history and they help them market and it's just fun. And, that's fun Tampa. That, that's the fun Tampa side to it. And my events are a whole nother, you know, beast. So on funtampa.com, I'm going to find all the videos you've done. I can scroll through, watch what I want. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Well, there's different. So there's different things now. So Fun Tampa just started. So Fun Tampa was like almost like like Fox Five. It was like the TV show, right? That's what, how we envisioned it. And inside Fun Tampa, there's a, a series called Food and Fun in Tampa Bay. And what I do is I shoot like a two minute video of places to go that are food related or fun related. Then there's another segment just called Specialty Bites, and it maybe is 20 seconds long to a minute. And all I'm doing is showcasing really cool items to eat or drink that you might not have even heard of, from like pad thai wings to maybe a, 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 a stacked pizza, whatever the case may be. Okay. And now, starting this week, we're starting the first ever Tampa Food Challenges, <clears throat> which I'm supposed to be part of. But what we're going to do is we're going to showcase different places in Tampa that have food challenges that you might not have heard of. Okay. And this is kicking off tomorrow. And what, tell me what you're doing. So tomorrow, and here's a perfect example. Tomorrow I'm doing a food challenge where I have to eat 10 huge cookies and a pint of milk within 20 minutes. And the place is called Cookie Munchers. And it's in like Temple Terrace. And it's a really cool spot. And now they might, you never would have heard of this place. It's a small little spot, but now we're bringing them on the map. And it's really cool. It's locally owned. Awesome, awesome, awesome place. Now, the cool thing about it is I'm doing that challenge. I'm not going to win. I already know I'm not going to win. So what I want to do is it's me versus another blogger who owns Tampa Bay is awesome. Great guy. And we're going to face each other. And then what we want to start doing is getting people to represent us for the next challenge. <laughs> So you're looking for some ringers, some people yeah, who want to try gonna, a food like, if, if people were watching me, they're going to be like, this guy never wins at anything. I can't eat that. I'm going to try. But, but it'll be fun because then people can come in from the community and try different challenges. And then we'll put them on the directory as well on funtampa.com. So then when you go, you can see all the different food challenges there are. Well, Karen, I don't know if you can tell because, you know, Zoom makes me look so good. But, you know, I've, I've eaten quite a few cookies in my life, so I might have to take you up on that. Listen, I, I love cookies too. Ten huge ones? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know, I said Fun Tampa, the best thing about Fun Tampa from my aspect is the weight gain. I see. I, I would start out and I would get really, and then all of a sudden I'm like, all right, now I got a personal trainer. I crunch and everything. There was one video. I'm not going to say which one if anyone finds it. <laughs> I was at my heaviest and I can barely watch it. I go, oh my gosh. Oh, um, no. you were having a little too much fun yeah, in Fun was, Tampa. I was having a little too much food. <laughs> a little too much well, food and fun, Tamara. Well, what are your hopes for this, Karen? What do you want to see it come to? So this is kind of where I'm at with it. You know, I was telling someone the other day, and I said, you know, I love real estate. I do it seven days a week, and, and I'm very passionate about it, and we do very well. I said, but who knows? Like, maybe one day this turns into a, a TV show or a, I can host something. Because my thing about Fun Tampa is I pick and choose who I want to do. Right. It's my choice. Yeah. Oh, now, if businesses reach out to me, which a lot of them started hearing about me, I love to support and I will. But a lot of these food networks and all this stuff, they get paid to go. So when they're showcasing the place, don't get, you know, people like, oh, that's a good. No, they just paid the money. That's why they're on there. What about the place that's better than them that you don't know about that doesn't have the money to budget it? So it's like for me, it's a passion. I'm helping people, but I also love it. Maybe it turns into something bigger. I don't know. I, I don't okay. know yet. It's okay. Like, you know? Well, and, you, and Karen, sorry, go ahead, Marie. I was just going to say, and so you're a full-time realtor seven days a week. You manage yep. and run and film and edit yep. on Tampa.com videos and keep up the website, but you're also a dad, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So you that's have my, I mean, that's my favorite thing in the whole world. Uh, Aw. I'm, I'm uh, yeah, I'm waiting for him to become my cameraman. Oh, perfect. There you go. You're building your own empire. I yeah. love it. <laughs> I love it. Well, it's so much fun and I've really been enjoying watching and especially when you go for the Thai food and try all these really funky things and different recipes because there's never a time that I can go order everything. But I right. can watch the video and see a little sampling of everything you have to offer and I'm definitely going to go to Tuk Tuk Fusion. Tuk Tuk Fusion. That looked amazing, you know, That's and I've never even amazing. heard of it. But now it's a point to go, I love learning new things in the community. And I think you're just doing a phenomenal job getting people to know everything that there is in the community. Yeah. You know, I mean, so it's like, there's a fine, hold on, my German chipper, come here, baby. So okay. there's a fine <laughs> line between like, you know, what we do. So, you know, one thing that we do too, and I think a lot of people don't realize this, and it's really important for people to understand this, is that when we do Fun Tampa, it's food and fun related. We don't charge anybody anything. There's never a catch to it. When we do the, the, the food events, like, or like the food truck festivals, or like 
This Monday coming up, I'm doing a free ice cream day. I've given away over 150 TVs. I don't ask for one dollar from a sponsor ever, right? If someone's working with me and they partner with me, it's one thing. We don't ask for money ever. We don't. It comes all out of my pocket, and I never solicit people. Like I might have an advertisement banner up or something, but I don't go around and try to get business from people because at the end of the day. It's not about that. Like, yes, I make money from real estate that helps do this stuff, but I don't take it from that to do, you know what I'm saying? It's like a one-way street. Hey, I do well, uh, you, you, and, and, and I help people buy and sell. Great, I'm going to take some money of that and do stuff for the community. And, it, you know, at the end of the day, I think a lot of people have to realize that if you're soliciting and you're doing this, and you're, you're not really doing it for the right reasons. Yes, I understand people need to market and get their name out there, but just do it for the community. And everything will always, you know, there's nothing better, you know, I grew up in Long Island, everyone knew everyone. You go to a store, you knew the person, you knew the owner of this, you knew this, you know, everyone knew everyone. And where Riverview is just a melting pot of people coming from all over, there's shy people, there's people, you know, it's nice to be able to walk out and see people and say, hey, you know, oh, I seen you from your video. I, you know, I was doing a, a um, Karen's useless knowledge. And for 10 weeks, I went out and did trivia along the streets. And I gave people money if they got the answers right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. I'm going to go back and doing it. That's but it was fun. so cool to where the fact that I went into the village inn and they were like, you're the guy from the trivia. I was like, yeah. You know, but it wasn't like that. That was cool. It's like it brought excitement to the community. And I love yeah. that, you know? Yeah. It's get to know your community, get to know the people in it. And it's the giver's gain attitude, the shop local attitude. Yeah. I'm a big fan of what you're doing for sure. Well, and it's no time. surprise, you know, because uh, Marie, obviously, you're also about bringing together the community. And so, you know, I, uh, you know, to, to honestly, Karen, uh, you know, I've actually been to your food truck rallies a couple times, you know, it actually became kind of a staple, you know, among, uh, you know, my family and, you know, and so we, we've been out there a number of times and had a great time, especially with the little ones, because there was always something for them to do as well. Um, you know, this community, we, we had Heroes Paradise on our show uh, just recently. Uh, it's just exploding with so much fun stuff to do. Yeah. So what's kind of like the, the maybe the, the golden nugget, the hidden secret out there that people haven't quite discovered uh, yet uh, that's here in Tampa? So, all right. So things, so the funny thing is, is that I calculated that how long it would take me to do every video. It's not, it can't, it doesn't exist, right? Because it's like, you could shoot a video of Ebor, which Ebor has a really bad rep and it's so awesome. There's so many things about Ebor that people don't even know about, but you can shoot Ebor in general. But then inside Ebor, you can do the history tours and you can do the, 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 um, the haunted tours. Haunted tours are so amazing, right? And then you can go to like, the, I'm not gonna say the name because I'll let you guys find it, but there's a place that has a secret room that you can go into and like, it's just so many cool different spots. And then think about the beaches, right? People think of, you know, um, St. Pete, St. Pete Beach, Clearwater, Indian Rocks, Gandhi. Well, did you know there's all these private beaches along the Skyway and there's private beaches, even like the Gandhi, they have these little mangroves that you can like kind of just take over and you feel like you're in your own paradise. And there's so much that people don't realize that I think the one thing that irritates me more than anything when someone says, I'm bored, there's nothing to do. And I'm like, there's so <laughs> much. I don't understand if you don't like the heat, I get that. But there's so much to do and so many places to go to that I think people don't even realize it. Now, food related, holy moly, there's so many food places that people don't even know about. I mean, again, you have to travel out of your comfort zone. I mean, I remember, granted, you know, when I was doing marketing for the, you know, clubs and bars, I would go down Armenian waters and there was some really good food spots after midnight that you can find over there. You know? <laughs> but like, you know, with the laser ops and Heroes Paradise, I just did a video for them. It's unbelievable outdoor laser tag. Um, there's an unbelievable go-kart place in Palmetto that's like Grand Prix go-karts. Uh, <laughs> and there's just so much cool things to do that I, I just don't think a lot of people realize and grasp how much there really is in Tampa. Well, thank you so much for what you're bringing to the community and what you're educating us on. The next time somebody says I'm bored, I'm going to send them to funtampa.com and say, take your pick. Yeah, there's tons yeah. of fun I mean, things. I that, and that's what I'm trying to focus on a lot more is the fun aspect. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, just from like the bocce ball courts or the splash pads or this or that, there's just there's a lot out there. There's a lot to do. Well, thank you so much. Good luck tomorrow on your cookie challenge. I'm going to be watching to see how you do, how many you get down in that 20 minutes. Before and after picture. The before and after picture. Yep. 
Exactly. And we'll stay in touch for sure and get involved yeah. and do some fun things with you. Funtampa.com. Thank you, Karen Clarkin, for what you do. And thank you for coming on the show with us. I appreciate it very much. Thanks again to Karen for that fantastic interview. No shortage of uh, personality there. And make sure you check out funtampa.com for everything he's up to. I'm definitely taking him up on that cookie challenge as well. So keep an eye out for that. <laughs> Marie, what else is going on at the Osprey Observer? So we are here. It is election season. We are ramping right up for the primary. We've got a great um, political guide running in all of our editions. We have a link to it on our website. And we offer all of our politicians to send us a short video to introduce themselves to the community. And we've got the link to that on our website. It's a great way to just get on in three minute videos, get to know your candidates. So you're making that informed decision when it's time to fill out your ballot, whether you're doing mail in, in person or early voting. So it doesn't matter how you get there, just get out and vote this year. Very important election season. Yeah, one of the things we're certainly concerned about, obviously, because of the coronavirus, is that there is going to be uh, a, a dropout, you know, a lower number of people voting this season. And, and we certainly can't have that. Uh, fortunately, I do have a lot of friends running for office. And I'll tell you, by going on to the ospreyobserver.com website, it's just so easy to navigate, to you know, learn more about these candidates, watch a video to kind of get to know them a little bit more on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And so I highly recommend it. Do your homework. If you have your absentee ballot, go ahead and get that thing filled out and sent back in. Uh, but uh, it's just an amazing resource you, you and your team have put together there, Marie. So I really appreciate it. Absolutely, anytime. For that and a lot more going on in the community, make sure you check out ospreyobserver.com. Until next time, with me is Editor-in-Chief Marie Gilmore. And for the rest of the team at the Osprey Observer, I'm Johnny Torres. This has been Osprey Observer TV.